my name is Evan George and today we'll be doing an EdMed Day in a Life. I've been holding off on doing this video for a couple of reasons. One, we're the inaugural class. Two, COVID had come in between. And three, our new building only propped up towards the end of our first year. So I felt like it was a better representation to get an M1 to do their day in a life, the class below us, to kind of have a better representation of what and med life is like. So with my solid 76 subscriber count and my wild amounts of non-existent YouTube money, I was able to hire stunt double Rohan Gupta, who is a longtime friend of mine. He's an M1 and they're currently in the neural block in their kind of didactic period. So you will be following his day in a life in this video and I felt like it would be a great representation of Zoom classes slash in-person sessions. That is really representative of what you would feel and see as a future incoming student for EdMed. Where I'm at personally, I'm in clinical rotations. So I started OBGYN in January and it's been a blast learning so much about obstetrics. I delivered my first baby. I'm learning so much and pulling so much and I'll probably do a reflection video about how I felt after the rotation and what I learned and some of the like kind of lessons I've kind of gleaned from it. But until then, please enjoy Rohan's Day in a Life. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Rohan. I'm a first year medical student here at EdMed and I'm here to show you guys a day in the life. So the time is 8.30 on a Monday morning. We just finished our first exam of neuro and we're about to head into exam unit two. So I'm gonna start studying for that today, which you'll see in a bit. And then at one, we had this class called Practice in Medicine where we basically learn how to be a doctor. So we, we learn how to perform physical exams on people, we learn how to diagnose a problem. So today we're learning all about headaches and that's really interesting because I, I actually kind of like neuro. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. So my two favorite spots to study are like right here in my room and then the new building that we have built and we use it for all our classes now. So yeah, we're gonna go over there today just to show you guys what it's like and yeah, let's do it. stuff set up and we're gonna yeah we're gonna study until one that's when our first class is and then that's all over zoom and then the second part of the class is in person so that's the part where we learn how to interact with our standardized patients how to take our physical exams and stuff unfortunately I can't record that part because of HIPAA but you get to see some cool shots of me studying so yeah let's get to it I'm gonna take a quick study break, explain. I guess I'll explain how we're taught at NMED because it's slightly different than most medical schools. So the way it works at most medical schools is you, you go to lecture or you stream this lecture, you take the notes in the lecture and you're done. Like you study your notes and you do your hunky, whatever, and you prep for the exam. Um, NMED essentially tries to skip the lecture. So they're just giving you a bunch of notes. Like they just give you a bunch of notes and they're like, here's what you need to know for the exam. How you learn it is up to you. So it puts the onus on you as the student to figure out what the notes are really talking about, how to get the material, like how to get the intuitive information from the notes and how to like put it in your brain. So now it divides the class into like a couple of different categories, right? You have the people that just straight memorize the notes. They know the notes word for word. Come time for the exam, they do great because they just know everything that's on the papers. Um, I'm not one of these people. I like to, I, the way I learn is I like try to understand why things happen. And so if I need to like recall this set of information, I can like work up to it 
off of like what I already know. So I can build up to the answer essentially. And it does take me longer to learn the information, but you know, I, we all need to learn the information somehow, right? So you have your chronic memorizers, you have your understanders, and they both study from the same like set of notes. So the onus is completely on the student to determine how they want to learn, how they need to get the information in their brain. Because at the end of the day, you have the same notes, you're taking the same test. It's up to you, right? So this style of learning is called like a self-directed learning. I wouldn't really call it flipped classroom. It is flipped classroom, but it's like a subset of flipped classroom, which is like, like you have to do all of the learning. So I like it a lot. It, um, it makes me really think about what I'm learning and I'm not just shoving things in my brain like I did throughout college. Okay, it's almost time for the, our first Zoom class of the day. It's actually an engineering class, so we're gonna learn about a technology, like some engineering technology and how it's going to relate into like, the clinical side of medicine. And yeah, super interesting. It starts in about 15 minutes and I'm probably gonna study until then. We just finished class. We actually ended up learning about deep brain stimulation, which was super interesting. We learned about like how it works and how you install a deep brain stimulator, what the point of it is, how it works physiologically. And yeah, and so now we're gonna do some more studying. We might go out and eat some lunch. And our next class is at one, which is the practice of medicine course where we interact with our pedis. Just got back from Palm. It was fun. I ended up doing like a bunch of physical exams on a patient and there we just studied headache and it was a little bit stressful because we had like a 10 minute restriction per per story. But you know, that's how it's gonna be in the hospital setting, so I just gotta get used to it, I guess. And then having to stay 30 minutes extra just to get some last minute work done and now we're back home, I'm gonna start studying again. Uh, hopefully get through about one to two more handouts before I'm gonna just gonna call it at 10 and then just eat my dinner. So thank you for watching. That is honestly the best representation of NMED's day in a life that I can give you right now. I have been able to talk to some of you and I got feedback that you guys kinda actually wanted to have that video. I also recognize, I keep telling you guys, please contact me and ask me questions, but there's not a great method I had put out there for you to contact me. So y'all been reaching me in different ways through Instagram, through LinkedIn. Some of you are able to find my email. So honestly, if you find my email, you can find my LinkedIn and my email is there. Please email me, I, uh, that's my preferred method. Or if you put a comment down below, I, I'm usually pretty good about replying back to my YouTube comments. It's honestly so great hearing from you guys and I love you know, helping new students. If there's something that you guys want to see specifically or that you want to know specifically for like a next video or just really quickly, let me know and I'll work on it as soon as I can. So until then, I'll catch you guys around. Thanks.